This topic is very sensitive, so viewer discretion is advised. I will not show any inappropriate footage, but the topic overall is very serious. Names and offensive words will be replaced, altered or censored. I advise you to watch the first video about this topic. The link to that will be the first thing you'll see in the description and comment section. Let's go back a bit. On the 15th of September this year, I released a video about our Hanks tank. I received extremely crucial information ever since and had contact to one of the owners of the R Hanks tank subreddit. He sent me convincing evidence that he indeed owned our Hengstank as well as our Cullingas. Therefore, it makes a lot of sense to cover this topic in its entirety, including the newest leads and so on. This video would probably be over an hour long if I would discuss everything in this episode, which is why I'll make a final third episode after this one to solve this mystery we have. Nevertheless, I will go very in-depth about the newest leads in this episode and you will probably understand why I refrained from covering this in the prior episode. To not miss the final video about this topic and any other future videos, you should subscribe and set notifications to all. I will upload the final episode in around 2 weeks from now on a Tuesday 2pm CST. Let's dive into this investigation. Joy of Satan plays a major role in this investigation. Therefore, we will talk about this topic in this, but also in the next episode. I will cover half of the leads regarding this topic now. If you want a quick introduction to Joy of Satan, I recommend watching my 3 minute video on the topic. If you don't want to, you don't need to. I will explain it once more in this video. I think you remember the infamous number 113. We talked about this already in the prior episode and I was guessing that it was referring to... Let's take a look at a specific user from R Cullingas, the second subreddit after R Hengstank shut down. This person goes with the name Rebecca666 and shares a lot of information regarding spirituality, demons and so on. I guess this person is also connected to Joy of Satan in one way or another. More interestingly is this thread. Let's focus on the last two paragraphs. If you want spirits other than demons, well, you never can tell who's who. You always have to determine first whether they are demon or something else. If you talk to a demon and command it in the name of Jesus Christ that it tells you if it is actually demon or not, it must tell you. Study under your assigned seer. Practice 4 3, 113, 114, 115, etc. Learn to channel your inner energy into force and attempt to contact those on the other side. There are plenty of 113 templates on the subreddit to practice on. Contact and learn, but never too long. So basically, this guy says that there are a lot of 113 templates on the subreddit. So does he really think that you can contact the spirits of these people and possibly date them? On the Joy of Satan forum itself, there is a lot of discussion and conversations regarding with demons and spirits. That would kinda explain comments from users that comment on the pictures of the dead women. Things like take care of her or THH4S, which probably means thanks for sharing, makes more sense with this context. Obviously, what I just stated here is not a fact or anything. Maybe I misunderstood the person. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Why not? We will get more information later on anyway. I am not sure to what extent you heard of Joy of Satan, but it is crucial for this investigation and for all of the following leads. 
to ensure that we all are on the same page here, I will go through Joy of Satan step by step and explain everything in depth. Basically, Joy of Satan was a thing ever since 2005 and was founded by people from the National The names of the owners will be changed in the following to avoid legal issues. This is a pretty accurate description of it. A pseudo-satanic cult led by Christine and Bruno Bello, the ex-president of the National this group slowly brainwashes rebellious teens with false, anti-Semitic, reverse Christian information turning them into ignorant, racist skinheads for the national. Ironically, they do not care about skin color, only about donations and recruitment as it is their source of income. These are some screenshots where Christine Vello has a conversation about her childhood. Here she calls herself High Priestess and talks about losing her virginity at 11 years old and having her first child at the age of 15. She also is of the opinion that the age of consent should be 16 and how she was chasing after adult males when she was a teen herself. I think you know where this is going. In the next post someone claims that he received an email from her where she states that she and Bruno were having sexual intercourse with teen boys and girls to keep them off of Apparently, both owners of Joy of Satan are allegedly 13 to 14 year old teenagers and are getting away with it. A teen who was involved in Joy of Satan shares first hand experience in the following thread. He gets pretty graphic in his descriptions about how one of the owners has a sex obsession and involves minors in it, but says that he has no direct evidence of minors. In this picture we can see Bruno and Christine Vello. This is in the time of them being a part of the racist organization Nash. In this one Bruno Vello does a horned salute to Satan, I guess. Further, they have a PDF of 592 pages which serves as some sort of guide to their belief. I'll just quickly scroll through it so you can have some sort of idea of how invested these people are when it comes to Joy of Satan. The sheer quantity of pages is just huge. We now have a pretty good idea what this cult is about and who is behind it, but let's take an actual look at the forums. I will be unable to show a lot of the things that are shown on there because it's just too racist or graphic, but I'll make the effort of giving you the gist of it. Here you can see the main forum of Joy of Satan. They have a lot of anti-Semitism, satanic rituals and stuff in the threats. What can be witnessed is that they see themselves in a situation of war. They have a particular enemy or something. It really makes the impression that these people either are mentally ill and or abuse desperate people with mental problems in order to brainwash them. Trust me, this impression will get way stronger when I show you some more about this forum. In addition to the post about preparing for war against an enemy, they had a spiritual war room, as they call it. They had a countdown on the website. Someone in the thread also says that this day in particular seems to be of importance and that he enjoys starting RTRs, which obviously refers to the countdown since it says next final RTR offensive in an hour and 22 minutes. As you can see in the screenshot, they try to target teens to join them. One of the boards is called Teens for Satan where they are looking for 13 to 19 year olds that want to participate in their belief. To illustrate how big of a network Joy of Satan most likely is, here you can see that they offer multi-language sections for people that may not understand English. Therefore they have members globally that contribute to the website and to the cult. They also have a section for health. Let's just take a quick look what this section is about. Some of the posts aren't even all that bad, but there is this one which really caught my eye. Okay, to update on this, I posted about two years ago on this I'm not sure what group. The advice given was the one minute cure thing. 
I had done that for a couple of months, then gotten tired of the taste of it about 1-3 to three times a day. I do have the ability to easily order more Paraxide and know how to safely use this. I still believe I have this, did a home test for HIV last year after I had stopped for a bit using that and it still was positive. I have seen a couple people say they were healed of this on these groups over the years and even other places but no concrete guidance on workings or what to do and for how long. Beneath this post there were a few replies from people that claim to be free from HIV and other STDs permanently. They give advice on how to do it. Do a freeing the soul working to free yourself from HIV in a positive, benefic, healthy way. I'm completely free from HIV and from any immune systems, diseases, STDs, permanently, or something like that. Look at your chart as well, the sixth house and where its ruler is in the chart. After detaching, it should come clearer to you which working you should do. A parallel sun square is the best bet. Something like the energies of the sun square permanently heal me, my immune system from HIV and any STDs etc. In a positive etc. way for me. Or your affirmation. You also had people in the replies that were denying the existence of HIV, calling it a fake manufactured disease which anyone can test positive to in many circumstances. In order to identify the owner of R. Hengstank, it was necessary to follow the leads regarding Joy of Satan, since the forum plays a major role in the following lead. This lead deals with the potential identity of Hank, the owner of R. Hengstank. There is a fairly detailed WordPress about this investigation. I think this lead is extremely fascinating. It just shows how much layers there truly are in this investigation. Dark Maniac 666, a 19 year old psychopath, self hating virgin with deeply rooted paranoia and anger issues. That's a very interesting headline if I say so myself. There is a peculiar quote from Dark Maniac 666, or also called Hank Paulus, which reads as follows. I've wanted to everyone on earth for no apparent reason. How my erects when I hear of on the news etc. Down below we see his Facebook page with the name Martin Paulus. This amongst other Facebook pages has been deleted already. People also are aware of five email addresses which he used to contact individuals with. It seems Hank was pretty reckless with keeping his identity private. To gather this amount of information about someone tied to criminal activity is astonishing, but there's more. Hank was using DSL for a while and may still be with the same ISP. His IP addresses were used to locate his approximate location, the lower area of Toronto. This information was then used to contact a detective in the 22nd division in the area. The chances of him getting arrested seemed likely. Looking at his Twitter account, we see a few things. Hank associates himself with the joy of Satan, and obviously praises Satan. Next, the last post was on October 12th, 2020. It is presently November 3rd, 2020, making it probable that the filed report had little impact. Other than that, his Twitter is filled with racist commentary, including a lot of anti-Semitism. There are multiple messages that Dark Maniac 666 shared with others. These mostly deal with Satanism, how he gave a soul to Satan, vampirism, and succubus stories. To illustrate how weird this is, here's one select passage. September 5th, 2014. Hello guys, I was wondering if there was any way I could prevent my parents from finding out there's a secret family member in the house. You see, whenever I'm near a switch, she favors the entrance light switches, one outside my bedroom door, she turns them off. While I love her attention, I'm worried my parents will find out about her and try to hurt her or call some priest. It's not the light bulb that she turns off, she goes for the hardcore switch and flicks it off sometimes making a noise when I'm near it. Sometimes when she does it, my mom calls my name and I tell her I did it, but my mom will start getting pissed at me because she doesn't like it. She understands well, like when she goes on a switching spree I tell her to chill and she gladly stops. 
But once she started doing this in my class, OMG, the whole class was either tired to notice or just stupid, but she switched it off by making the noise, and damn, right when the teacher switched it off, he jumped a little when the switch turned off by itself. Gladly, he kept what was going on to himself. I'm just worried and hope no one tries to do anything to her because she is a really nice spirit and my mom will mix her with a shadow man as she has seen one before. Do you guys think I should put more effort into spending time with her? Hail Satan! Hail Lilith! On top of the information that people gathered about this guy, Hank himself gives away a lot of personal info. In a Yahoo group, he shares the following. Listen, I sympathize why you feel the way you are. But I'm not entirely sure what you are going through, but I used to feel the same way. I couldn't do anything right. And sometimes to this day, I still screw shit up and take it up by harming myself, which I do regret and hate myself for why I'm so useless. Sometimes I thought meditation was a waste of time, but then I thought to myself, do I want to give up and continue my life depressed and weak? Is that really all there is to my potential? I have found more than once that the powers of the mind are real and that you just have to dedicate yourself and believe that you really have the power to control your life. It may take you long, but you'll experience something only a few people in a million will ever experience and this is what the enemy religions and hostile entities want to remove with a dying will. I hated myself so much that I just got tired of it since that was the only thing I felt so I said fuck it and screw this destiny that has been placed upon me and took the courage to carve my own life, which is not easy. But I managed and realized I actually can make things go my way and the much more powerful I get, which is through power meditation, that I can do much more and hold fate by the neck. So to quickly summarize, this guy is a young adult who is depressed and suicidal but further a psychopath and potentially runs our hangstank. But there's more. He goes more in depth about his personal issues in life. He grew up without his dad, his mom is also suicidal and he was molested. There is a lot more information on this guy, but I think you get the point. This is a very sensitive subject, so I advise everyone who is not mentally healthy to not follow the same route this guy took. Seek help or talk to someone that you trust before you turn into this guy. The Facebook page associated with Hank has been permanently banned. Googling Darkmaniac666 will give us multiple results, one of which says the psychopath surviving 14 years of which leads to a book. Not entirely sure what the content of it is, but it somehow is connected to Hank. If the connection is completely random and unrelated, it's unclear. I told you all of this, but honestly, I want to disregard this lead immediately since this is not our guy. Hank Paulus, aka Dark Maniac 666, is not the owner of our Hankstank. It's still interesting that there was a connection from R calling us and Joy of Satan to this guy. I think this just further illustrates what type of users Joy of Satan or R calling us has. But for our investigation, I want to be clear that this guy is not the owner of R Hangstack. In conclusion, we talked about the newest lead in this video. We talked about how people from R calling us are connected to Joy of Satan in one way or another. We talked about what Joy of Satan is and what they exactly do. We talked about the potential identity of the owner behind the R Hangstang subreddit, which we already debunked since I got into contact with the real owner and Dark Maniac is certainly not our guy. I want to thank Anomaly once again for being a part of this video. It would mean a lot if you guys could just like check him out and give him some love. I put a link down below to his channel. Alright, I think that's about it. Um, like I said in the beginning, if you are interested in discussing some of the mysteries I talk about in these videos, or if you just want to like make a suggestion for me to cover something, or if you just want to just talk with anybody about this channel or contents of it, whatever it is, I'd really appreciate some of you guys joining the subreddit. Maybe we can like just have a little chat here and there and uh, yeah. 
I'll see you guys next week with uh, another video. It won't be our hang stank, but it will be like a topic that is hopefully equally as interesting. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.